Hello everyone. So today I was uh, thinking of uh, taking a backup of my cloud instance and I thought I'll probably also show you how to do it in case you are doing something uh, similar because I believe we're taking a backup is uh, definitely uh, definitely a very common thing that you may want to do in case you have uh, uh, a responsibility of managing a cloud instance and there are a couple of reasons why I take backup. Number 1 Definitely you need uh, a backup in case you are looking for a way to restore your Jira instance or maybe you want to do a migration of your cloud instance to another cloud instance and uh, the reason I am taking a backup is because uh, I recently uh, signed up for a premium Jira cloud instance and I was uh, of course working on it. I was playing with uh, the configurations. I was trying the new features of uh, or, or the features that you only get with the premium version but I was of course not going to pay for the premium version it was only for evaluation of uh, my uh, of my instance and the features that I uh, I wanted to wanted to check like uh, the archiving and uh, the sandboxing but in future or maybe really soon I would definitely want to create a premium instance again but when you create a new instance of jira on cloud you will get nothing you will just get a blank instance but if you have a backup of your previous jira cloud instance that you took you can actually restore it so it is actually very simple and i think i i think um, i have talked about this in the past uh, few times so let me do it again one more time today because i was doing it and I thought I'll probably show you. So if you go to, I mean, of course, you need to be logged into your Jira instance. If you go to your uh, uh, your Jira admin on uh, on top, you can click on uh, system. I believe it is a bit different on. I mean, the, the interface is a bit different on server. So I'll probably click on system and I'll expand the sidebar. And what you need to do, you need to find the option here called uh, called backup manager so if you click on backup manager you can then of course uh, find the option here to take the backup of your cloud instance and that is it so one thing that i wanted to mention is that if you're taking a backup for cloud you can take a backup of cloud you can um, click on this option called create a backup for cloud but in case you're in case you're taking a backup for uh, the for the server version you need to basically do few things in case you are using uh, let us say next gen projects next gen projects are not supported on uh, server so you need to delete these projects before you can take the backup and i think i've talked about this so if you want of course to take a backup for cloud you can uh, by clicking this button if you want you can also include the attachments uh, avatars and logos in the backup which i normally do because on my test environment i don't really have a lot of files but if you're on uh, your production instance or maybe if you're doing if you're taking a backup of production for testing purpose you may not need the attachments but i'll probably click on the button because i don't really i know that i have not too many attachments and, and when you click on this button it will uh, of course take some time it will probably take maybe it depends on the size of your instance but uh, it will take some time and once you have that particular backup file you can then of course uh, restore it to your cloud and uh, restoring it is actually again very simple so let us say you have the backup file you can click on this uh, restore system item this link on the left hand side and then you can uh, then you can select this option here like uh, if you want to uh, if you want to restore it you can uh, maybe click on the button here but if you're on cloud there is a message so if you're on a free, free plan when importing data there are some restrictions on users uh, attachments and permissions and I don't really worry about these restrictions because uh, I know that I have uh, less than 10 users but it is something that you should be aware of if if you have uh, your your I mean if you have a lot of lot of data in your attachments or maybe in general if the, if the backup file is really big you can then talk to the support the Atlassian support but in our case I'll probably worry about uh, uh, I'll not worry about these things. I'll simply click on the button. And when you click on the button here, you can uh, select the option here, like uh, whether whether you want to merge the 
users with the existing users or maybe you want to override the existing users or maybe you want to first migrate them using the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant, which I think I covered long time back, but I, but I think this is something that I'll probably cover. I should cover it again because they, there are a lot of differences now in the new Jira Cloud Migration Assistant tool. Now, when you click on the Import Data uh, button, you can then uh, uh, perform the backup. Oh, sorry, you have to first, by the way, perform the backup, which is right now in uh, in progress. But once you perform the backup, once you have a backup, recent backup file, then uh, this utility will let you restore. And if you go back to your backup manager, I mean, we just initiated the backup uh, earlier, like just a few minutes back, you can see that it is in, it is still in, still in progress. So this is something that I will uh, hopefully continue. I will hopefully uh, work on uh, the work on the new Jira instance where I will have uh, where, where I will have this data restored if needed. So whenever I am working on cloud, I keep these backup files somewhere on my on my system on my local system so that I can restore them. And by the way, whenever we, whenever you sign up for a new cloud instance, I think I did show you that earlier. You will get the interface where you can uh, after like after you have this new Jira cloud instance, you will get the option to restore from backup if if you need to. So you can also take a look at that option if if you are moving to a new cloud instance. But for just playing around, if you are just trying to make sure that you have few cloud instances with you always, so that you can maybe demonstrate Atlassian products or maybe you are doing some quick. Uh, testing with some actual data or maybe data that has some relevant values uh, like of course maybe if you have more than 100 issues or maybe a bit more than 100 issues few schemes here and there then you can of course do wonderful things when you are learning Jira or maybe when you are trying new things uh, because without I mean you it, it is very easy to sign up for a cloud instance but with without any data it is a bit difficult I also started uh, by the way I think a month back or maybe two months back I did start uh, creating and sharing some CSV files that you can import straight away to populate your Jira instance. So you can always go to the repository. Let me just uh, show you that very quickly. I am trying to spend time on it so that I can of course share uh, more CSV files that you can uh, straight away use to restore data. So let me just find the repository if I can. I'll probably click on, I'll, I'll share the link, don't worry about it. So the repository should be, okay, is it, I forgot the name of my repository, which is really sad. Uh, let me find it. Is it here? Did I, sh did I share it on this? Uh, uh, don't worry about it, I, I'll share it. I think I've, I, 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 I think I lost it, but uh, I know it is there somewhere and uh, using those CSV files and I did share a couple of videos like how to do a CSV import along with so when I, when I, I think on that repository I don't just have the CSV file but I also have the configuration file which you can use to quickly restore the data without mapping those different fields so I, I, I will definitely share the link in this video so you can uh, take a look at it but uh, if you want to if you want to ensure that you have a Jira instance always ready with you do take backups and restore from the backup whenever needed. And that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.